last movies I want to see Expendables, Dumb Money, The Canterville Ghost, um, and The Sound of Freedom, if I can get to it. Um, hopefully I can go tomorrow, but it all depends on scheduling and stuff like that. But they're the four that are coming out as of right now. Um, obviously more will be coming out soon, but yes, I am planning to go see some of those in the next week, I think, so that would be nice, um, but yes, there are certainly cinema plans for me in the coming weeks, now that we are 100% getting back to routine, um, but honestly, I'm spending a lot of this week getting the two houses back to where I want them, well, this house back to where I want them, and actually the other one as empty as possible, um, because I fell behind being sick. I'm in the car <laughs> with Lilith and obviously I'll be there. Um, I know on a Wednesday I'm not normally here, but we have a meeting at the house that I need to be at, so I just decided it was easier for me to come back last night and be with them and just sort of do things around the house that I needed to get done and then and then um I, we can figure out sort of me getting time off this or the other um so obviously Friday we get the car um I do need to sort the car out a little bit um just because it's got slightly messy since um I what's the word I cleaned it last because things happen. But it is no time to take him in, so I'm gonna get start prepping and we'll see you probably after the meeting at about lunchtime. Just because I put a straight drive straight from here back to make it in time. So Later in the void. A little bit today, not a lot. Um, I did put some nails on it again. I quite like having nails on at the moment, so. Um. <sighs> so. The meeting that I had to do today got rescheduled for tomorrow. So there's that. I have that going on, which is just frustrating because I actually arranged my day today to go around that meeting and we didn't find out till right on top of that meeting that it was being rearranged, which was a little bit frustrating for me, but it is what it is. Um, it's fine, to be honest, tomorrow I really plan to kind of stay in as much as possible to get car stuff done so just making sure everything is out the car ready to go it's had a quick vacuum those sort of things um i 
just because yeah I don't want to be doing that at like stupid o'clock at night on Thursday or first thing Friday morning also hopefully if I do that it means I can do a um, film the car and have at least either b-roll or can make a whole vlog into it with that b-roll for that car and then I can show you the new car when we get it um yeah I'm tired I'm gonna have an early night and I'll see you all in the morning 24 hours later um I don't know what filming again today so I'm sorry <sighs> the meaning was kind of a waste of time just rerun over things I already knew but at the same time put some things in place for down the line um yeah and then um then Honestly, I had to re-empty the car, and even though I emptied it less than a week ago, there was a full bag's worth of stuff still in my car. Um, just one of those things. So I did get a little bit of b-roll footage of the inside of the car, and I will film tomorrow when we go get it, when we do the swap. But yeah i think this is just gonna be a whole car swap video i'm gonna end this here and i will see you all tomorrow hopefully i remember oh. good morning so car up soon today oh, i feel my like back it's at seven ish um I have like what it is. Uh, is it something that I'm presuming when we get for breakfast? Um, I need to go brush my teeth. Um, I'm gonna take some painkillers because I'm trying to get a headache, which I think is just because I haven't been drinking enough water recently, which is why the standing cup is very handy. Sorry, the dog is all over me because apparently, getting the dog to go outside is. And staying where she's supposed to is only my job. Um, so I need to get ready. <laughs> and then we all go downstairs and sort Mr. and the pup's child. So, uh, I think I need to take anything I forgot to take out the car. Oh, sorry, Dos. I didn't mean to bash on the end, but like, ow! <laughs> Anything I forgot to do oh, yesterday, oh, I'll take yeah, out this morning. Yeah, um, I know there's a sign, the ADHD autism sign on the back of my car. I forgot. Um, but other than that, I don't think there's much in there that I've forgotten to take out. Mm -hmm. I just want to do one last final, like, mm -hmm. check, if that makes sense, before. Before I um, drive away from the house and, and leave for however long, and that car never comes back. <laughs> the next day. Um. Okay. So, I am filming today. I'm really sorry. I just there was an issue. Uh, so Lillian really, really had our kind of hard time knowing that the car was being switched and everything. Him going to school and not being there because every time we've changed the mobility car, A, he hasn't been that interested and B, he has actually always been there for any reason. One was it was a weekend, a second time um, it fell during the six weeks holiday. The next time was COVID and then this time it was just one of those things. So. Um, he had a little bit of a hard time not being there and so I was focused on him that morning and not, you know, picking up the camera and being like, hey guys, this is what we're doing. Then I forgot the paperwork and those sort of things. Luckily we didn't need any of the paperwork I had at 
the house, so that's always good. Um, we ended uh, pickup was really easy. Pickup was actually surprisingly easy. It took just under an hour, um, and that was with signing paperwork, paying um, money towards finishing the deposit. Um, then <coughs> um, parking. We went to go get food, that didn't go so well. Then there was parking and um, moving the old car onto the thing so they could look at it and everything like that. Um, so that happened and me doing one last check, making sure we had everything out that car. Uh, then I obviously had to figure out how the driving style of that car because it can be different. Um, and all those things so instead of obviously doing a whole vlog about picking it up and those sort of things what i'm going to do is i'm going to do a car i got video and also sitting down with you and actually explaining that process of um getting the car choosing the car getting the car ordering it those sort of things so that if you are going to get a mobility car or it's your first time doing an exchange you know what to expect we have a neighbor who is doing their first exchange um end of this year and they've been coming to us with lots of questions about sort of that whole process if the ordering is the same as when you get your original car that sort of thing so happy to help and i will do a whole sit down proper long video for you guys in the next week or so um so if you do have any questions about that process this is the video to leave them on leave all of them in the comments down below and i will answer them all in the next car video that will be um sort of the the whole mobility exchange process um i might do a in-between video where i show you the car we have and all those features um <coughs> if the weather picks up so i can do that in kind of decent ish wet light etc so i am sorry that i didn't film and i kind of led you to believe you were gonna see that process um but yeah i may leave a picture of the car for you guys if i remember to do so if not it will appear in videos to come and yeah thank you for watching if you did enjoy it and you're not too upset with me about not showing you um the car and that process do go ahead and give it a thumbs up for me guys it lets me and youtube know that you are enjoying my content also don't forget to click that subscribe button and the notification bell so you get notified every time that i upload and if you just want to see more behind the scenes footage or just more of my face go ahead and check out the social medias that are appearing around the screen and i'll see you all in the next upload bye guys